Hey, it's Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California, here today in my living room um, to show you how to do the funky grasshopper that I just posted the other day on Instagram that so many people are asking me, how do I do it? So, two things. A, let me know if you like my working in the living room instead. There's clutter, so it might not be as easy to like see what I'm doing in my body, but there isn't the echo that there is in my studio that I try so hard to get rid of and I've been told that even a microphone will not help. Two, I don't usually do non-conventional poses, but I am today because, as mentioned, so many people have asked me, and also, this is a pose that looks so cool, but the truth is, it's completely accessible. Now, I'm assuming you already know how to do a grasshopper pose. If you don't, go to my info thing that's in one of the corners, because I don't know if this, <laughs> hello, telephone. Yes, I have a landline. Okay, so if you look in the corner where it has like a little eye and it shows videos, I have a grasshopper pose video that you can watch there. Now, assuming any normal person would probably stop the video at this point, but I'm gonna just keep going. Okay, assuming you know how to do your grasshopper pose, let's just go into some of the brief um, notes on entry. Remember that when you take your foot to your leg, you want your foot right there at the edge, okay? If it's off the edge, it's going to be really hard to like twist far enough to get your shoulder to your foot. So, foot to the edge of your leg. We start with our twist. Now, in a normal grasshopper, you see that my foot is essentially at my triceps, right? I'll turn this way. Foot triceps. This is the typical entry, okay? To get into the super deep, funky version of this, instead of going to my triceps, I have to go to my shoulder. How do I get there? Well, I do have to have a really, really big twist, but also, I sort of crouch down on this one. So instead of being nice and tall and lengthened as I normally would be, I crouch down. You see how that brings my foot? all the way to the back of my shoulder. Okay, so again, from this viewpoint, instead of just my normal, because remember normally when we work on a twist, we want to have a nice lift in our spine. No, we're gonna crouch down like old ladies and get the foot all the way to the shoulder. Now, once you've gotten here, there's not that much to it that's different than grasshopper. In a grasshopper, you would put your hands down on the yoga mat, right? I'm just gonna move forward a little bit. In order to do a funky variation of grasshopper, or really anything, you take usually the arm that's not encumbered by a leg. Instead of putting your hand down, you just put your forearm down. That's all. Now this hand goes down normally. So this hand will be in my normal grasshopper, and this one will be in more of a forearm. Okay, so I get way in there. I'm sort of pushing this leg back to try to keep my top foot very close to my shoulder. I come down, so see I'm just basically sitting here, leaning like, hey, like watching TV. I use this foot, my right foot, to lift my tush. Now, the trick is not letting this top foot slide down, okay? Because it wants to do this, right? How do I stop my foot from sliding down? Well, there's two things that have to happen. A, I need to push my foot into my, into my shoulder. Now, that seems very, very obvious, but a lot of times we don't push it, we just sort of have it there, and so it passively, comes down. But B, think about it, if I'm on my shoulder, if I push my shoulder backwards, then it creates sort of like a little shoulder groove for my foot to rest in. So, it's going to be shoulder sort of back, foot actively pushing down. So, big, big twist, forearm down, I come up, press into my shoulder, and from here, you don't really have to do this, it just looks cool. I come down like I'm going to kiss the floor. My other leg, just like grasshopper, comes straight out to the side. Now I could really, really melt into my shoulders here, or I could push down more like a standard grasshopper. 
proper. All I did in the Instagram was metal. And it just looked sort of cool. So a lot of people started asking, how do I do that? But as you see, there's not much to it. Let's watch from this side just one more time. So I'm going to move over here so I have room for my arm. Okay, so remember, foot is on the edge. Again, I go over all the basics of grasshopper in my grasshopper video, so check that out. I come in. Now this one does require, guys, a huge twist. So you've got to make sure you warm up that twist. It won't work if you're at the elbow. I mean, it will work. It just won't look super cool like mine does. Mine looks super cool. Okay, so I crouch in, round spine like an old lady. This arm is sort of pressing back to keep my leg in place. And this one comes down into the, onto the forearm. My left foot, the one on my shoulder, presses. My right leg goes out. And I crouch down like I'm going to kiss the floor. That just gives me lots of extra yummy opening for my shoulder. So you see, a lot of the magic that happens on my Instagram page isn't really that magical at all. Some of it, just like a normal ma magician, is just the angle that I'm shooting it at. You can totally do this. Now, if you need help getting open in your shoulders, getting open in your twists, getting stronger in your upper body, getting more balance and confidence in your whole practice, make sure you're doing my Vimeo channel, which is full length classes. These videos on YouTube help you with one-off poses, but my Vimeo will help you with your entire practice. Link is below. You have an awesome day. This is Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in my living room in Los Angeles, California. See you soon.